Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a budget for July 2018. Here is my budgeting book. Um, for all of you out there that may have not watched my channel before, hi, my name is Emily. And I use an Erin Condren monthly deluxe planner. No, deluxe monthly planner. I get it confused every time. As of me filming this, these books are not available right now on the Erin Condren site but a little birdie did tell me they're coming back very, very soon, like within a month is what I'm hearing on the interwebs. So there will be links down below for you guys to go and check out the Erin Condren website. There's lots of other goodies on Erin Condren as well. Full disclosure, if you do use one of those links to Erin Condren, one of them is an affiliate link, so if you've already signed up and got a $10 off coupon many, many moons back, that is the one to use to just buy stuff. That is an affiliate link. So what happens is I get a small commission from your transaction, but the cost of the goods stays exactly the same. There's also another link down below and that has a sign up affiliated with that. So what that one does is once you sign up, Erin Condren is going to send you a couple of different emails and one of them is actually going to be a $10 off coupon towards your first purchase. If and when you decide to place your first purchase, once your item ships, I will in turn get a $10 off coupon to use on future purchases, which is how I can bring you guys hauls and giveaways and lots of other fun things on my channel. So thank you to everyone that's already used it and thank you to anyone that's going to use it in the future. So I just like to get that out of the way. Also, I am a decorative planner and a decorative budgeter. So if decorating your budget, you want nothing to do with it, this probably isn't the video for you, but I just wanted to explain that first of all. And um, here we go. So this is the deluxe monthly planner. We are going into July. So what I like to do is look on my month view. I also like to put any notes in here. Um, this is also something from Erin Condren. It's just like a sticky note. I can put any things that are upcoming that I need to know about. I don't really have anything in July that's pertinent that's gonna cost me any like additional money. So that's blank, which is kind of nice. So then once I turn the page over here, I've got these like five category pages, which I do absolutely nothing with. I've never done anything with them and I don't know if I'll ever do anything with them in the future, but that's okay. And then we have this like productivity page, which is where I put my budget. So I'm also going to be using, um, these are, this is like not sponsored by Erin Condren at all, but <laughs> I feel like it kind of is. Um, but I have these two dual tip markers, which I absolutely love. I have the red and blue, which I will be using in this spread. And then I also have some of these stickers. Um, she does have sticker sheets now, and uh, this one's running a little bit low on some of the stickers that I use, so I pulled out a couple more. So I might be using these as well. I'm also gonna be using this washi sample. This is from my shop. There is a link below if you guys are interested. I'm selling washi samples now. And then also um, there is a coupon code down below as well for you guys. So anyway, this is like one of my favorite, favorite washies. And um, yeah, I just, I like samples and things like this just because I don't necessarily want a full roll of like Liberty USA. Like I'm never gonna use all of it. So yeah. But um, let's get into the way I set this guy up. And I wanna let you guys know that my budget is actually gonna look a little bit different this month. And I'll go into why it's looking a little bit different in just a moment. Now, let's move that. All right, whoa. <laughs> okay, so I've got my America washi on there because you know, gotta celebrate the 4th of July, right guys? So that looks super cute. I'm gonna use this and put in budget. And then I'm gonna use this blue little guy that says bills on it. Because I gotta list up all my bills. Actually, I'm gonna put it down a little bit. Yeah, that looks, that looks cute. And since this had so many words on it, I'm just gonna put like the budget thing like down below a little bit. I think that looks all right. Looking good. My budget's gonna look a little bit different today, you guys. Um, I think I'm gonna use the blue, no. Let's use the red first. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna use the medium tip. I don't know why, but I like the medium tip a little bit better. That's just my jam. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit here. 
All right, so let's do this. So let's talk about some of the bills that I no longer am gonna be having on this budget. As you guys know, I have had my YouTube and stuff as like a, a business for a while now, and I finally just got my stuff together enough to now pay certain bills through my business. I have consulted with my tax professional about paying some of those bills through the business. It is 100% legal to do this, as well as how my business is set up, it's okay for me to do it. I don't recommend you do anything like this unless you consult with your tax professional. I'm just like disclaimer out there. So anyways, you are not no longer going to see my cell phone, my internet service, or healthcare funds in here at all. I mean, you might see some healthcare stuff for my dog in here, but that's clearly not covered by the business. So anyway, but you'll see all the other things, but I just wanted to clarify that because as people watch, they're like, well, where's this and where's that? Um, and especially when they're things that you guys see every single month. So anyway, let's get on to putting all the things down on the lovely paper here. All right, so let's go over my basic bills of what has to be paid, regardless of what I think. Um, right now, there is a little change that I wanted to show you guys. So my mortgage actually went up slightly. The reason that went up is because my property taxes went up just a little bit. So I had the option to either pay for the entire difference right away, or I could just build it right into my mortgage. I did the calculation. There's absolutely no difference the way that my mortgage sits and what the price difference was. So I decided to just put it right into my mortgage and it only went up just slightly. So if you guys notice a difference, that's why. Um, my HOA is the same at 158. Uh, my gas bill is 150, or sorry, not 155, wow, $55 a month. Um, my Culligan, I do rent a water softener. There's been issues in my area ever since this house was built. So um, I do rent that at $31.85 a month. That's a pretty fixed expense. My electric is estimated at $75. I actually just paid my electrical for last month and it was around this amount and um, it's been pretty warm. So I'm thinking that it's gonna be about the same. My waste, like garbage bill for my like trash and recycling is the same every month at $17.85. My water is always an estimate at $54. It kind of fluctuates a couple bucks, but that's about it. My auto insurance is always the same at $85.42 and my Netflix is $11.75. So now with my fixed expenses, my total is $9.53.29. So let's get into my extras, which I don't really have many extras this month. I've just got fuel and grocery costs as well as some um, like possible like dining out kind of money. So as for my additional expenses, um, I have my fuel at $100. That's always an estimate. Um, right now I'm not working a traditional job at the moment, so the fuel cost is pretty low, even though fuel prices are a little high right now. As for my groceries, I usually budget about $50 a week, so I'm at 200 bucks. My dining budget for like eating out, any little extras is about $60. I actually am going to be paying for this uh, Minnesota Planner Addicts event. That's the MPA event. Um, it's, I think it says it was like 30, I want to say it was $35 plus fees. I will actually be in Alaska when this is happening and I'm just rolling this into my July budget even though I'm paying for it at the very tail end of June. Um, but my friend Jody at Life's Organized Chaos, I'll put her up in a card or down below for you guys if you want to check her out. She does fabulous um, money related videos as well if you're interested in that. Um, she's gonna be purchasing my ticket for me, so like right after I'm done filming this video, I need to pay her pal her 40 bucks. <laughs> so, because she's gonna pay for my ticket for me. And then the event is actually in August though, but we prepay for the events before they happen. Bringing my grand total to $400 of miscellaneous expenses. Um, I just put one of these little like cash things right here. And then I'm gonna put this little blue calculator down at the bottom here. Normally I don't have enough room to do this down at the bottom, but I do this time, so let's do this. All right, so my monthly total for July 2018 is projected at $1,353.29. Sorry if that little last portion was out of frame a little bit for y'all. But yeah, this is how I do my budget. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I am back every month with a different budget. Most of the time, it doesn't look this neat and exciting. I find it exciting when I don't have a ton of extra things, which is awesome. The only extra thing is $40, and I am totally cool with that. But stay tuned next month, because next month I have a lot of other things happening which will require extra money. So it's always nice to see when that budget changes. But anyway, I'm gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Feel free to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. And and I will be back next month for another budget, as well as lots of other videos in between. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye! Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh.